Hi there, I'm Adam, a physical therapist here at Bay State Medical Center, and I'm here with Gail, my assistant for the time being. What we're going to go over right now is a total hip replacement evaluation. Now to start the evaluation, I'm going to ask you a few questions, whether you have stairs to get into your house, do you have stairs once you're inside your house? Were you using a cane, a walker, or a wheelchair before you came to have this surgery here at Bay State? After I'm done asking you some questions, I'm going to teach you a few exercises. Now, there's three main exercises that you'll have to do if you're a total hip replacement patient. The first one is an ankle pump. Ankle pumps, you're going to push your ankles down, and then you're going to pull them up like so, Gail. Do a few of those. Now, generally, what I'm going to have you do is 25 reps of ankle pumps. The second one, you can relax now, is called a quad set. Your quads are on the front of your thighs right here. And when you set them, you are tightening them. All right, so what I want you to do is push your knees down into my hand, Gail, and see as our feet rise up a little bit, that's normal, that's good. Hold for three seconds, one, two, and three, and relax. That's a great quad set. Okay, you can relax. And now the third exercise is called a glute set. Your glutes are on your butt, okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna tighten your butt for three seconds, one, two, three, and relax. One more time. And you should, it's normal that you lift up. You should lift up. You're not sucking your gun in, you're lifting your hips up. Good. So we have ankle pumps, quad sets, and glute sets for a total hip replacement patient. After we've done some exercises and you had done 25 reps of all three of them, what I'm going to do is review your total hip precautions. These are just a few rules that we got to go over to make sure that you protect your new hip. All right? Now, the total hip precautions in detail one of which, if you're sitting down, okay, you can see that she has a pillow between her knees. This means that you can't cross your legs, okay? Your left over your right or your right over your left. Now, for the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to assume that she has a left total hip replacement, okay? So, no crossing the legs, all right? Now, with your left leg, okay, no internal rotation, okay? If your knee is pointing inward or your toes pointing inward, don't do that, all right? And then thirdly is the 90 degree rule. So if I was going to be sitting in this chair right here, that makes my body orientation a 90 degree angle. That's safe, okay? This rule pertains to if you close that angle, you make it less than 90 degrees. So you can't bend forward past 90 degrees or with your left leg, bring it up above your hip level. You see how my knee is above my hip? That's breaking the 90 degree rule, okay? So no crossing the legs, no turning your left leg inward, okay? And then no sitting past 90 degrees. Those are your three hip precautions. So after we do, do some exercises, review your total hip precautions, then we're gonna move towards getting out of a chair, okay? And there's a few steps with that. So if Gail's sitting up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit you upright like you're in a chair. and kind of let your legs naturally dangle. And I also want to stress, once I sit you upright in your chair, that that's not a cue for you to get up and start walking. We got to go over a few rules, okay? So Gail, when you get out of this chair, you're first going to let, scoot yourself to the edge of the chair. So let your butt come forward, okay? Can you do that? Good. And now you also automatically put your leg out straight. That's one thing, that's another rule about your total hip precautions. You're not going to stand up to your walker without your leg out straight. Your first step, you got to get that leg out. So here's your walker, your leg is out straight, and your hands are in a perfect position. Your hands go right here, not on the walker, okay? So hands right here, your leg is out straight, and don't do this, I'm just going to demonstrate. What you're going to do is you're going to rock forward, push with your strong right leg and your arms, then you grab onto the walker, okay? So you're, you're standing upright. Once you're feeling okay, you're not dizzy, and you, don't, you, you feel comfortable, what we're going to do is we're going to start to walk. To walk, okay? Now you're going to push your walker out in front of you. Take a step with your left leg. Then your right, up to it, and stop. These are three steps. So you're going to move your walker, left leg, then right leg. You got that, Gail? All right. Now the same goes for when, you, when we're done walking and you want to sit back down, you, have your, you want to get your left leg out in front of you, okay? So you're going to first want to feel the chair with your legs, get your left leg out in front, 
And now I want you to start to reach back for the chair. And as you're sitting, make sure you get this leg out in front of you, okay? You're not just going to, you know, even if you're tired, okay, we really got to make sure that you get that leg out. So left leg out, reach back, have a seat. All right, you want to go ahead and try to stand. So your hands are in perfect position, okay? You can stand up. I'm going to help you out. You're always going to be safe. Now grab onto the walker. Good. You feel dizzy at all? You feel good? Feeling good. Okay. All right. So now we're just going to take a couple steps. So push your walker. Now step with your left leg first, please. Then your right leg and stop. And one more step is good. And stop. Okay. Now for the purpose of this demonstration, can you just back up to the chair so you feel it? There you go. So you're not a patient right now. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to sit, okay? Generally, as we're walking out of this gym, okay, there's going to be a rehab aid that's following you with the chair, okay? So you won't have to backpedal to the chair and, and sit down. It's going to be following you, and you may not even realize it. So when we sit down, you want to first get that leg out ahead of you. Reach back for the chair with your arms. Wonderful. And then slowly sit down as you're sliding that leg out. Perfect. Okay? And then the last step, Gail... And for you at home is just to scoot back into the chair and then we're going to recline your legs up okay how do you feel very good good